because in the mountains in winter, there's always the threat of avalanches. Cross the wrong slope at the wrong time of day and you could be in serious trouble, as these three skiers found out. Incredibly, they all survived. If you're caught by a slime, as the snow begins to settle, as you feel the whole thing coming to a halt, that's when you've got to make the big effort to fight for the surface, trying to create an air pocket you, to give yourself a chance to be able to breathe for a while, because suffocation is probably the number one killer. To try and show you what's involved in an avalanche rescue, the crew are simulating just such an accident. At the foot of this avalanche slope, they've buried Arthur somewhere. Now, we've done a visual search to start with, and we can't see any sign of him. No feet, no legs or arms or anything sticking out. So we're going to have to conduct a more thorough search. Now, bear in mind, the first 15 minutes are critical because most people die within that time. So we're his best chance of rescue. We're taking with us three pieces of equipment. A shovel to dig with, snow probe to feel through the snow with, and most importantly of all, we're all wearing one of these, an avalanche transceiver. It sends out a signal like a beacon while you're wearing it, but it can be switched over easily to a receiver and guide you to anyone buried. Using it can cut the search time to under three minutes, and that's the difference between life and death. Three metres, Nick. 2.8, 2.5, bit left, 2.3, We're on top of him. The probe's really important. Because with can, that... Can you pinpoint it a bit more? Yeah. 1.2 here. I've got him. I'm sure that's him. The probe enables Nick to feel through the snow for the body so that we can dig in exactly the right area. He could be in any depth of snow. You know, devices like these avalanche transceivers are transforming wilderness safety. Today, it's only a fool who goes into the mountains in winter without got one. Something. The most important thing to expose, first of all, is the victim's mouth. We were lucky we came straight to the head because you've got to get air to him. The second most important thing is to turn off his transceiver in case there's someone else you're still looking for. But there's not just avalanches to deal with. There's the cold and the snow. There you go, Arthur. 